Hello, brothers and sisters. I pray you guys are all having a blessed day. I just wanted to come on here really quick and just bring you guys some more encouragement and uplift my brothers and sisters in Christ. <sighs> Any one of you who is going through persecution, we know that that comes along with having Jesus' Holy Spirit dwelling inside of us. We have to suffer for Christ's sake. And if anyone is going through persecution right now from their very own family members under their very own roof, I just want to encourage you right now and remind you all to rejoice in it. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. And remember that the prophets before you were also persecuted for the sake of Christ. You guys, I am experiencing it pretty heavily right now. And I just want to say, as long as you are growing and maturing more in the Lord every day, rejoice when people persecute you for it. Rejoice in that. Jesus was, people thought he was crazy. His own people thought that he was crazy when he chose his 12 his 12 disciples they were ready to 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 go after him jesus says a prophet is not without honor except it be in his own hometown amongst his own kin and under his own home and I can only imagine the pain that he must have felt in his heart when he said those words. Because I have felt that pain as well. But we also rejoice because we are suffering along with Christ. We are suffering along with him. So when you have family members that are telling you that you're nuts, that you're crazy, that you are studying the word too much, I am reminded in hearing those words of Paul in the book of Acts when he shared the gospel to Festus and Festus telling him, you have gone mad. You have studied the scriptures too much. You're insane. And Paul told him, I am speaking the truth to you, and I am of sober mind. You guys, we know the truth. We know we are of sound mind, and that we are preaching a sound doctrine. And if people don't wanna hear it, or they wanna mock you for it, or they wanna persecute you for it, know that it is, it is a battle between Satan and our Father in Heaven. That's what it is all about. That's what it's all about. Jesus came to bring a sword. He did not come to bring peace in the home. If it means that His chosen are residing under the same roof as someone who does not belong to Him, he will divide that home. He will divide and a house divided cannot stand. We cannot be as one with this world, you guys. So you are going to experience persecution amongst your own flesh and blood. He said that he would set us at odds with our family a mother against her daughter, a father against his son. That is our promise. But 
it is his perfect justice again. I know I say it all the time, but I declare it because I believe it. Shake the dust from your feet, you guys, if you are being persecuted. Shake that dust from your feet. If you have shared the gospel with people who don't want to hear it, if the spirits in them hate the zeal for Christ in you, shake that dust from your feet as a testimony against them. But do not give up. Do not give up. And don't allow anyone to try to put out that fire inside you. That fire, that holy fire inside you. That light that is shining. Don't let anybody take that from you. Don't let anybody take your salt away from you. Keep on pressing forward. Keep on pressing into him. Keep on pressing into him. And the more that people think that you're nuts around you, as long as you are getting closer with Christ, you know you're doing everything right. Everything right. He went through it too. And so, of course, it makes sense for us to endure it as well. So, I just wanted to give you guys that encouragement because it can be it can be really difficult. It can be so difficult. But just know, you guys, his promise to us is if you forsake your family, your friends, everything that you have, everything that you have for the sake of Christ, you will gain back a hundredfold in this lifetime with persecution, but also in the world to come, everlasting life. He loves us so much. And when he sees us being persecuted amongst our own kin, he is pleased with that. He is pleased with that. I rejoice in suffering for Christ's sake. I rejoice when people call me mad or say that I I've gone off the deep end for Christ <laughs> because I have, <laughs> I have. So praise God for that because that is all his doing and not my own. It is all his doing. Hold on tight to him and continue to trust in him and praise him and thank him for those persecutions. Thank him for them. I love you all and I hope you were encouraged by this message and I will talk to you guys very soon. Be blessed today in Jesus' most mighty and precious name. Take care.